Walter's Diker. Walter's Diker is a fascinating little creature officially discovered in 2010 in the Dahomey Gap, West Africa. The species made its first foray into the world of science in 1968 when Walter Verheyen, the man after whom the species is named, retrieved a specimen in Togo. This species of diger is native to Togo, Benin, and Nigeria. One of the most interesting characteristics about the species is its small stature. Measuring an average of only 40 centimeters in height and typically weighing 4 to 6 kilograms. In addition to its small height, the duiker has hind legs which are longer than their counterparts up front. This is particularly interesting given that the duiker is not a grazing animal and typically feeds on berries and other similar items of nourishment which grow on plants. Red bearded titi. The red bearded titi is a small primate discovered in the Colombian section of the Amazon rainforest in 2008. Unfortunately, the story of the discovery is not all happy, as it appears the adorable bearded little things are critically endangered, with an estimated surviving population of less than 250. The red-bearded titi, like many primates, shares a surprising number of characteristics with humans. One such characteristic is that they mate for life, an uncommon habit in the primate world. A typical couple has a baby every year and males are responsible for a majority of the infant's care. Couples have often been seen sitting together on tree branches with tails intertwined. Pinocchio Frog Found in the remote Fuja Mountains of Indonesia, the Pinocchio Frog is a strange little creature which was only discovered by accident in 2010, after wandering into a research camp and perching itself atop a bag of rice. The animal's most obvious distinctive feature is the odd protuberance on the front of its face, most often referred to as its nose. The strange nose-like thing is a feature which only the males have, and becomes erect when they are making excited calls, returning to its standard position when they are not. The exact purpose of the nose, and the frog's ability to manipulate it, is as yet unknown. As a part of the subfamily Pelodriodinae, the Pinocchio frog's diet consists primarily of insects. They are also found high above ground. Wattled Smoky Honey Eater The Wattled Smoky Honey Eater is a species of honey eater endemic to the Foja Mountains of Indonesia. This particular species' most distinctive feature is the reddish-orange facial skin around its eyes. Discovered in December of 2005, the wattled smoky honey eater was the first new bird species discovered in New Guinea since 1939. This honey eater has a sooty gray plumage and a black bill. The most distinctive feature is arguably the extensive reddish-orange facial skin and pendulous wattle. In other members of the genus Melipodes, these sections only appear reddish when flushed and the wattle is smaller. The honey eater was one of over 20 new species discovered in a single expedition that took place in 2005. The shade of the bird's facial skin changes slightly when flushed. Louisiana Pancake Batfish Belonging to the Ogcocephalidae family of batfish, the Louisiana Pancake Batfish is a bizarre-looking creature native to the Gulf of Mexico. The species was discovered in 2010 during the cleanup process following the infamous oil spill in the Gulf which affected every kind of batfish. The Louisiana pancake batfish's name comes from its shape, which quite closely resembles that of a horrendously prepared pancake. The strange manner it has of moving along the ocean floor is described as being similar to the way a bat crawls. The pancake batfish feeds on invertebrates, which it uses chemical lures to capture. Lasula. The Lasula is a remarkable new species of African monkey discovered in 2007 it was discovered in the Democratic Republic of Congo, and is the second new species of African monkey discovered in nearly three decades. The monkey was first seen in 2007 by John and Therese Hart of Yale University's Peabody Museum of Natural History, in the home of a primary school teacher in the town of Apala. The Lazula lives in rainforests in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Since that sighting, it has also been seen in the wild. Its range is between the Lomami and Tushwapa rivers in the central part of the country. The most visible characteristic which makes the Lazula so unusual is its startlingly human face. A slightly less obvious characteristic are the bald patches on the monkey's hindquarters and genital region, both of which are colored a vibrant blue. The Lazula are generally described by researchers as quiet and shy. They also tend to usually live in small family groups of around five members or less. The Lissula's days consist of leisurely activities such as foraging for fruits and vegetation, grooming, and resting. Megalara Garuda The Megalara Garuda, also known, for good reason, as the king of the wasps, 
is an enormous wasp officially discovered in the Makonga Mountains on the Indonesian island of Sulawesi in 2011. Average males are about two inches in length and have an elongated mandible similar in size to their forelegs. Not only is the Megalara garuda massive and demonic looking, it is also venomous. The first specimens of the wasp were collected on an expedition to Indonesia in 1930. However, the first live specimen was captured and documented just last year. Much like many other rare species, deforestation and other environmental impacts pose a threat to the well-being of the species. Yeti crab. This rather snugly-looking crustacean was discovered in 2005 in the South Pacific Ocean. Given the presence of a substantial quantity of silky blonde sidae, its discoverers were quick to dub it the Yeti crab. The unusual little decapod reaches an average length of around 15 centimeters and lives around hydrothermal vents deep in the ocean. It is for this reason that the fur-like sidae contain filamentous bacteria, which allow the creature to detoxify poisonous substances emitted in the water by vents. It has been speculated that the Yeti crab may actually feed on such bacteria, but it is generally believed to be a carnivore. Parachylinus nursalum. First described in 2008, Parachylinus nursalum is a new species of flasher rasa discovered in the Bird's Head Peninsula in western New Guinea. The fish's most distinctive characteristic is, of course, its incredibly bright, vibrant colors. Given the recent nature of its discovery, little is currently known of the creature. To end on a cheery note, the future for the Parachylinus nursalum looks quite a lot brighter than can be said of some other animals on this list. The fish's primary habitat is located within already protected waters, meaning that it's safe from external factors which may otherwise have put it at risk. Goliath bird eating spider. I've opted to put this monstrous creature at number 10 for one very simple reason. It terrifies me. It terrifies me so much that I didn't want to grant it the honor of placing it any higher. The species was officially discovered in 2006 during an expedition to Guyana. It is a burrowing spider feeding primarily on invertebrates, though it has also been observed eating small mammals, lizards, and venomous snakes. Fully grown specimens can reach a horrific weight of around 6 ounces. Thankfully for us, and for any other creatures too large for the spider to eat, the goliath bird eater is a species of tarantula, and has relatively weak venom, which causes mild swelling and pain for a few hours. But the thing that poses the biggest threat to us humans is the goliath's ability to expel urticating hairs from its body. These tiny, nearly invisible hairs float through the air and have an awful tendency to stick in the eyes. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.